I have a burglar at the moment. It's behind the curtains. It's now on the floor. Excuse the floor. Da -da. I don't own any cats. But I've got this, this fucking thing here. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> Hello, you. Hello. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Look. Hello, you beautiful people. Um, you have no idea how many times I've tried to make this video. Oh, there's another cat. Um, <clears throat> I don't own cats. There's another one. They're going to have a fight in a minute because those two do not like each other. They don't. That one up there, everybody knows this one. This one's Skittles. She's on my Instagram page. The one that's down there, I ain't got a clue who that is. But if you go on my Instagram page, you will see Skittles. The history of Skittles, which is this pussy tat here, is on my Instagram account. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been trying to do this video for a long time. I really, really have. Um, yeah, I've been missing for God knows how long. Uh, there is a reason for that. You see, last year, I was diagnosed with ADHD. And... I had to go through a load of, I had to have a load of tests and stuff before they would actually give me the medication purely because I've got chronic asthma and I'm a fat bastard and I'm out of, uh, overweight and you name it. There we go. So um, they wanted to make sure, and I'm old, I'm old fucking far, but who cares. Uh, they just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to have a heart attack or something like that or a coron coronary, that is a freaking heart attack. I mean, uh stroke or anything like that if I took the medication. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this now is because it's been a long time and I can't just come back without actually explaining to you why and where I've gone. And basically, I've been getting used to the medication that I'm now on. It's a medication called Concert. And for those of you that want to know, it's actually, yes, yeah, speed, amphetamines. Um, it's an amphetamine-based medication, so I take speed uh, to slow down. Because that's the problem with ADHD. Now, you'll notice also, one of the reasons I've never really liked my face on camera is purely because I twitch a lot. And I now found out that that's because of my conditions. Um, it's a tick disorder. Um, it comes with ADHD. It comes with autism. It comes with dyslexia. It's very much like um, Tourette's, but in a different form. Um, and I found out that my conditions basically mean I've got a fucked up prefrontal cortex. Somebody stuck in a blender and uh, put it back in and it doesn't work properly. Eh, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much where I've been. I've been getting used to my medication. Um, the strange thing there was that as I started to take the medication and it was going up in the... Um, milligram wise I started on the lowest dose and, and went up I'm like on 54 milligrams and I started on 18 these tablets and every time they went up they got bigger and bigger and bigger so like it's like a horse fucking pellet if I can get one I'll show you one and strange things started to happen the first obviously is that things slowed down time slowed down suddenly time became a reality time has never been a reality to me it's not a case of that I uh let time get away from me or, or get um, focused on something. I just don't understand time. Um, I used to tell people that. I mean, oh, yeah, that's all right. You know, I'll get carried away with things and forget time. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't forget time. I don't know what time is. Um, and that's the first thing I noticed. I kind of know to a degree what time is. And I've noticed that first thing in the morning. Whereas beforehand, I've never ever noticed what a time was beforehand. Um, so that was the first thing I noticed. The other thing was, I was aware that my body is broken, beyond belief. I've really got to do something. So, for 2019, I've got a plan, um, and unfortunately, it's taken a long time to even just come to the conclusion of the fact that I've needed to make a plan. The other thing I found out is that apparently I can plan, but I struggle to implement that plan. So that'd be a great hit, man. Absolutely fantastic. 
I could plan a murder, but I just can't implement it. There's a difference. So if anybody wants to become a great hitman and partner up with me, that's great, because I'll, I'll do the planning, you just, just do the, the action and everything else, because I can't do that. Um, <clears throat> which is why I struggle when doing things like this with the videos. Uh, but now all of a sudden, I'm I'm doing a lot more planning, I'm doing a lot more thinking, I'm certainly a lot more coherent in my thoughts, and I think this video will show that as well, compared to some of the other ones. So I'm hoping to come back, um, I'm hoping to start redoing the videos and it's just a case of like jumping in there and doing it um my autism has changed in the fact that it's more noticeable and so is my dyslexia that's more noticeable now than what it was before and that's probably because i wasn't aware of it whilst i was still really badly suffering with the adhd um and i know it, things have changed because i've not it's also affected my asthma um i was having massive amounts of chest infections and all sorts uh, 2018, 2018, going way, way back. Um, but the minute I started taking this medication, all of a sudden, next thing I know, I've got, I've not had touch wood, find it somewhere, touch wood is behind me. Uh, I've not had a chest infection. I've not had a really bad cold or anything like that. So, it, oh, kind of surprising. Um, and that was very surprising. It surprised my asthma nurse as well, because my asthma actually kind of got better. Just cleaning the box while I'm at yeah, because I'm resting you on this box that I'm cleaning. Um, so yeah, so that's in that aspect, is that my perfectionism? As I say, I've tried so many times to do this video and I've not been able to. So purely because my perfectionism perfectionism has come out. Um I've also got um car very bad carpal tunnel syndrome and Cubital tunnel syndrome, where and for the last few weeks I've had uh, a numb pinky and a numb ring finger on this hand, and part of my hand's been numb, um, and I've had to have physiotherapy. So, kind of things have happened, but things are hopefully going to get better. Starting with this video. So, if you have any questions, guys, and I'm hoping to actually do more of this face to face stuff because that's one thing that I've noticed actually. The, um, there's a girl that a girl lady look at girl lady doodle on a motorcycle um i've mentioned this wonderful person before um she and i'll try and remember to link into it we pretty much started at the same time on youtube and her channel has exploded no end and i've been noticing some stuff with regards to her channel and what she does differently and one of the things that i've noticed is that there's a lot more facetime which i don't have on my channel now it's all right doing the old like the mysterious thing you know and being mysterious and all that a lot but i think that does actually kind of hide you away from people so i'm hoping to do some more face stuff i'm hoping to do some more different stuff and i'm hoping to actually do a lot more with the channel i can't say much at the moment because i haven't quite fully worked it out but anyway um, I'm glad to be back. I hope you're glad to be back. Um, one of my videos hit 10k while I've been away and everything. And hopefully I'm going to do some more. Um, so I'll catch you in the next time when I've got to sort out the mess that is outside at the moment before I do anything. Because it is an absolute tip out there. It really is. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you the next time. It's Arrivederci from me and um, Arrivederci from the cats who have now gone out obviously to beat the shit out of each other. Cheerio.